Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have some new makeup today. I am aware my voice has been going for the past couple of days. Some people are happy my voice is going. I'm not though, so if I sound different, the old throat's not working. I have a big old box of makeup from Colourpop all the way in the US. Now it's not a Disney unboxing, so I don't have any ears on, which is a little bit weird, but whatever. They have released an entire line, well I say an entire line, kind of a range on Twilight. I'm an OG Twilight fan, I've read all the books, seen all the films, saw them as soon as they came out, had a lot of the merch. So when I saw that they were doing a Twilight makeup range, I had to get it. Now I did get the bundle, um, I think what I'm going to do first is show everything bit by bit and then I'll kind of put clips over showing everything a lot closer. Now I haven't put any kind of eye makeup, I've done like my base, I haven't done any eye makeup because I figured at the end I might see if I can quickly put something together and then show it. Because I'm not feeling very well my skin is in a bit of a mess right now so I'm not going to be zooming in on my face, no one wants to see that. So I was logged in, I had seen on their Instagram and the TikTok that there was going to be a Twilight range. Like many others I thought I have to get it, have to get it. I love Colourpop stuff anyway, whenever I do colours on my eyes Nine times out of ten, it's Colourpop that I'm using. And I love Twilight, so it makes sense. I just had to get it. So I was logged in and ready. I went straight for the bundle. There are a couple of things in here that I'm probably not going to use. But because of how popular it seemed online, I figured the best thing to do would just be to get the bundle. And then I've got everything. I don't need to worry about adding individual things to basket. And it's a good thing I did because everything sold out. I think it was within ten minutes, everything was gone. The bundle sold out kind of a couple minutes after I checked out so I was very lucky that I got it now it is all I did open the box really quick just to count that everything was in there Whoa. I don't know where to start I might actually get everything out pop it here and then I can get rid of the box that would be a good idea wouldn't it um, my turn. okay excuse oh I've dropped something oh, good start yeah that'll do right oh because I have these bits in my hand, we will start with these. Now, like I said, I'm going to quickly show them now, but then I will properly show them after I've kind of done all of these bits. What are these? What are these? Graphic ink liners, and there are three of them. Now, the box is the same for all of these, so I'm just going to hold these up together. The box for all of them is the same. They are ink liners. We have Coven, Vampire, and Forever. So they are three different shades, but the boxes look the same. I will do them properly in a moment. Uh, put you there. These ones are different. I am very much looking forward to all of these three. They are lip oils, so kind of kind of a bit like a lip gloss. And they are all different. These ones do have different boxes. So we have the Wolf, which is Team Jacob, the Truck, which is Bells, and it's got the Cullen Crest, which is Team Edward, for all of these three. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, they're not going to be as vibrant as, like, a lipstick or a lip gloss. They're more of, like, a sheen. But I will show them properly soon anyway. I love that they have their own boxes. Now, I did see a lot of comments online that there weren't many red items. I feel like it's probably because when Twilight came out, it kind of had that bluish-green forest filter on top, and everything was a lot of blues and greens. There wasn't really any red, except for blood, in there. I don't know if it's true, I saw other comments online, so I don't know if this is true, that this is only based on Twilight because they will do, they, bleh, 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 they will be doing other films. So if that is true, and they do New Moon, that will have a lot of like reds and golds, because you're looking at more vampire stuff. The Volturi come in, for example. Reds and golds. I mean, if they do... I'm gonna get it, aren't I? I'm a sucker for makeup these days. These are both highlighters. Now they are slightly different. This one is Vampire Skin, and this one, what's that one? Meadow. So Vampire Skin, and again, they have the same box. So this one, Vampire Skin, is more of like a, just like a white silver, whereas Meadow, this one, it's got like a purple sheen to it. Because obviously when they're laying in the meadow, and there's purple flowers around. So I am going to pop one of these on later as well, so I haven't done too much with my face this morning. Is oh, I am potentially most excited for this one. I already have 
one of these shimmering body oils from Sol. Is it Sol or Sol? No, we'll say Sol because there's no U in it. Read, Hannah. And it's called Like Diamonds. I think I might have figured it out. There are a lot of people asking why wasn't it called Skin of a... Insert this word. And I think it's because that's a dodgy word for online these days. Miller, but take the M and put a K. So I think it's because that's a bit of a dodgy word online and they just wanted to avoid that. So it's called Like Diamonds. And again, similar sort of design on the box. And it's a shimmer oil. I will show it properly. What I'm probably going to do when I show them close up is just put a few bits on my hand so you can kind of see the colours. Online they do have like all the swatches as well. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't just roll it out. I thought it might have been a bag. It's not. So it's a good thing that I wasn't silly. The eyeshadow palette. I, how many eyeshadow palettes do I have from Colourpop now? It must be nearly ten. You've got to, like, every occasion, you need an eye palette because they all have different colours in. So again, with the same sort of foresty theme. Now they all have their own colour. Should I read them out? If I just read them out now really quickly. We've got Edward, Unconditionally, Prom Night, Immortal, Ice Cold, Say It Out Loud. The Cullens, Lion and Lamb, Seventeen, Moonlit, Impossibly Fast, Bella, Irresistible, Irrevocably and Young... Oh, Forever Young, not Young Forever. Yes. Right, so they do come with little covers on. Yoink. So this is the actual palette compared to just the cover. It does tell you the names on the back as well. Are you ready? I've seen it online but I've not seen it in person. Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, there we go. Okay. They do all come with a little bit of plastic on there but that would kind of shine. So at the top we have Twilight, so the lion fell in love with the lamb. Oh, it does tell you the names of the colours right underneath them as well. So if I start with that top bit, with Edward and Bella, and they're in the meadow. Look at these colours. So again, it's kind of lots of blues and greens, because that's pretty much how the first Twilight film was. It was a lot of forest and blues and greens. So that's kind of why they've stuck. That's why I went with a green hoodie. I used to have Twilight clothing from... How long has Twilight been out now? As soon as it came out... I had like so much of the clothing it was unreal obviously it just ended up getting purged I'm regretting it now aren't I could have worn that although I have actually is it this jacket she's wearing here it is this blue jacket that Bella is wearing right there I have that from is it BB by Dakota were they the ones that did that jacket I still have that jacket I say I probably could have put that on. I shouldn't because the zips, there's a lot of zips and it jingle jangles quite a lot. So this is everything. Can I hold it all up together? This was a very silly idea. Oh, no, I can't hold it all up together. Oh. Right, there we go. I can hold it all up together, but you can't see it all together. That was silly, wasn't it? Right, what I'm going to... Oh. Everything's falling. It's a good thing it's in boxes, isn't it? What I'm going to do now then is show everything individually. So here is the entire collection. I will show everything kind of individually and bit by bit. I'm probably going to swatch things on my hands as well. The eyeshadow palette I probably won't. I feel like my hands aren't big enough to swatch everything on there. And where they normally swatch kind of here on your arm, I have tattoos on both arms. So that's <laughs> that part's not going to work for me. But the rest I can kind of swatch on my hands. But this is the entire collection altogether. So I'm going to start with the three graphic incliners, pop those two to the side. This one is Coven, so they do all have the same box on there. I assume they will all look the same, but just be different colours. So this is how it looks. I like how it has Twilight at the bottom, and then Colourpop on this side. Are these all quotes? I think the rest of it is different Twilight quotes. I like that. Do we pull? Or No, no, we twist. We twist, we don't pull. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at this. I need to not make a mess, actually, don't I? Let me pop out there for a second. I think this is like a black collar. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a line of each on my hand. Oh, it is, and it's really sparkly as well. That's beautiful. Woo, we're off to a good start. Righto. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this part is all... The bit that you hold then with the wand on the end. So this is the bit that has the colour in there. So there's not a huge amount of it. But I feel like that will go a long way. 
so you probably don't need a huge amount. Next up we have Vampire. I wonder if this one might be red. I mean it says Vampire. Okay so they do. The outer part looks the exact same on all of them so it will just be the colour on the inside. Let's have a look. Oh it is. Can you see that red coming already? Definitely red. I don't want to... Ooh! I don't want to make a mess, that's why I'm trying to be careful. Okay, made a mess on the outside. Look at that red! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's like a beautiful deep red as well. Love it! Okay, one down. No, two down, one to go. Goodness me. This one is called Forever. Oh, this must be the green one then. I'm sure I saw a green one. And again, it has that same kind of outer packaging to it. I'm doing it the other way this time. Is it green? It does look a little... Ooh, it is. Oh, oh my goodness. This one might be my favourite. Look at that. They are very thin how you apply them as well. Oh my word. So there's black, red and green. Look at that. And how easily they went on as well. They're beautiful and they really do shimmer in the light. I feel like the green one, actually, that would work for a Loki pound as well. Next up, we're moving on to the lip oils. I think I'm most excited for these three, especially because they have different boxes as well for the different ones. I just love them. So we will start out with Team Jacob. Now, like I said, they are not going to be this exact colour on your lips. It's more of like a sheen that goes on top. Oh, upside down. So Twilight again and Colourpop. I've still got a bit of glitter on this hand so I'm going to have to do these ones on this hand. And then I'll just have to wash my hands for the rest, won't I? Okay, move the box there. Oh, oh. So there's the applicator. So it does look a lot darker than it's actually going to be. Is this going to stand up? There we go. So if I just put a little bit of this over here. See, it's not going to be as dark on your lips. It's more of just like a sheen. I really like this. Oh, I love that colour. Do they have a smell? No. I, well, not that I can smell a huge amount right now anyway. But look at that. See how different they are? I have heard, actually, online, if you take out this part just here, this little bit, that you get a bit more colour to it. I feel like as well you could just kind of add layers if you wanted to add layers like an onion. Next up we have Team Edward with the Cullen Crest. Actually, let me know in the comments, were you Team Jacob or were you Team Edward? I <laughs> I was neither. I preferred the Volturi. So <laughs> the insight into me, this one's more of like a blue sort of colour. And again we have Twilight and Colourpop. trying to be careful because I don't want oh there we go to make a mess pop up there and it's like a beautiful sort of blue color so next to Jacob see that's a lot lighter you can still see it but it is a lot lighter so potentially just kind of layer up if you wanted extra color on there next up well, let me put this one away first. I probably won't keep them in their boxes, actually. That's probably going to get annoying, so I probably will get rid of the boxes. This one is Bell's, so Bell and we have Bella's truck. On the front of the box, look at this red. It's a very deep red. It's not going to be that red on my hand, though. But we have a red. Oh, that one came out a lot easier, didn't it? There we go. Perfect. See, it looks a lot deeper than it actually is. It's more of like a tint. So beautiful. They feel really soft as well. This glides really easily. No, I still don't smell anything. But aren't they beautiful? Look at those shades. So next up are the two highlighters. They are quite similar, but they, do, they are different colours. So they do have the same box again, really quickly. We will start with Vampire Skin. So this one's more of just like a... A white silver sort of colour. Colour, colour, excuse me. And again, twilight on the front. Okie doke. If I, I'm going to do it on this hand. Because the glitter's, 
this is gone from the lip oil that cleaned very well the other one the glitter is still there so i will wash my hands soon but we'll do this one on this one first but there is glitter in here oh my goodness oh look at this okay oh that's beautiful it's beautiful but it's also really subtle look at that and look at the shimmer oh my goodness i love it i love it i might put some of this on later actually when i'm doing my quick look this one is meadow so this one does have a bit of a purple sort of tint to it actually if i show you them both side by side with the lids off that will probably help okay so look at them together you can see how this one has more of a purple tint to it whereas this one's more of just like the generic sort of white silver colour okay oh okay this is I can already tell on my finger it's beautiful oh my goodness I might use this one <laughs> they're both beautiful I feel like the pink purple one you might need a little bit more on that one's not coming up as much oh, there we go tiny bit more but it's got that beautiful pink sheen to it they are both stunning oh my goodness i don't know which one i prefer actually i suppose it depends kind of what look you're going for if you've got any pinks or purples in your look i would say this one otherwise if you're going for more of like a silver but i mean either they're both beautiful this one i think this is the one that i was most excited for the shimmer body oil i already have one of these and it has a bit of a kind of purple pink tinge to it whereas this one is more of just like a silver white color it's called like diamonds and i am obsessed i don't know if i might be able to put any of this on kind of my skin and my chest today just because of the hoodie i've got on i didn't think my outfit through did i but the bottle is like this you do shake it because sometimes the glitter does sit at the bottom so if you give it a good shake before you use it see so some of the glitter stayed on this hand but we will do what we can okay i don't want a huge amount to come out so i'm gonna be careful oh there we go okay that is plenty right and then you just kind of rub it in look at this holy moly look at that shimmer i'm just picturing when he said this is the skin of a but i don't want to say that word i feel like that word is a bit contentious this is the skin of a miller bella but put K instead of M. I don't want to get in trouble. Look at the shimmer. Holy moly. Next time I go to Disney, I might take this. I like doing kind of extra over the top makeup at Disney. I might have to just like glitter myself. <gasps> Do you imagine a Tinkerbell bound with this? Tinkerbell with this glitter? And it does leave the skin feeling really, really soft. I did put quite a bit on my hand. That amount I would spread over my entire chest personally and it would be fine and it does dry out it doesn't kind of stay with this oily look but it does stay with that beautiful shimmer oh hold on there's a scent to this this one smells does it say any what it is doo, 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 doo. I can't see on the box but there is a smell to it what is it it's almost like a, a fruity sort of smell does it say on here oh i can't read that writing does it say on the bottom it does not i'm gonna have to check online then but this does smell excuse me it does smell a little bit fruity that is beautiful last but by no means least we have the eyeshadow palette with this part on top now let me know in the comments do you keep these outer bits or do you throw them away there's a couple that i still have but then there's others that i've just gotten rid of i feel like there's no right or wrong answer just what do you do personally and again with the beautiful kind of foresty colours i love how they've done the shimmer effect as well now i'm not gonna swatch everything just because my hands are not this big so what i'll probably do is actually really quickly i'm gonna pop a couple of pictures just here from online from their swatches so you can have a look so obviously they will look different on different skin tones as well look at these colours they're just beautiful i love how some of them have a matte finish so like this one I'd probably use for some blending, whereas this one, just glitter. Glitter to the max. That, oh, that one's called Edward as well. See, so you could wear that one with that shimmer body oil. 
I just love it. And this beautiful green one here, Lion and Lamb. Collins is, is that purple? It's like a purple colour. I love it. And the detailing on the top as well. Because sometimes some of the palettes that I have from Colourpop, they have a small mirror just here. I really like that they've done this with Edward and Bella. It's beautiful. And then on the back, it does tell you all of the, the names of the colours as well. So that is everything in the collection. I'm going to really quickly try and pop a couple of bits on now. Because I'm not not feeling 100% so I'm not going to do like a full face with any of these. I'm probably I'm going to try one of the highlighters. I can't decide which. With the shimmer body. I might, I might just put a bit on my neck. I've already washed my hands but there's still a little bit of glitter left. But I love glitter so I am not mad about it. So I'm going to try a couple of bits and bobs. What I'm probably going to do is do proper makeup looks on i'll probably end up doing it as kind of tiktoks and then youtube shorts so make sure to like and subscribe because right now i could feel my voice going again and i don't know about anybody else when i feel ill my skin tends to get a bit worse so i feel like if i give it a week and then i can try and do some proper looks with all of these goodies and also should i keep the boxes i don't know i keep changing my mind Sometimes I find storing things in boxes is easier, but then sometimes it just gets in the way. I also don't seal the boxes because I find them a nightmare to try and get into. Insight into me. So I'm going to go and pop a couple of bits on. I just used four of the products. So I did use a tiny, tiny little bit of this on my neck. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle. Tiny, tiny bit. Oh, coconut. To me, it doesn't smell like coconut. But it smells more fruity than coconut to me. It could just be because... My sinus is not working right now. I tried the Forever in the liner. I absolutely adore the look of kind of the... What are they called? The swishes? I can never get them even. Do, do we think they look even? I tried. This one was a bit thicker, so then I had to add to that one. Then that one was longer, so I had to add to that one. I mean, doing my best. I just need to practice with them, really, don't I? Next, I have put a little bit of this on my cheeks, whether it's going to come up or not. I feel like it's very subtle, but I have put a little bit just on top of the pink. Give it an extra little zhuzh. Now, the lip tints. I couldn't decide which one to try. I went with Jacob, which is the, the one that looks black. This is two layers. Mm. Don't do that, Hannah. No one wants to see that. So this is two layers of that, so it's not as bold as like a lipstick or a lip gloss. But this is the look, with just those four. Now I will do, like I said, I will do others right now. Not feeling the best, but I was just that excited that this had finally arrived and I wanted to show you all as quickly as I could. So make sure to like and subscribe, like and, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because I will be doing some more looks with the eyeshadow palette as well. I cannot wait to use the eyeshadow palette. I thought as well, this is like a dark green and a black lip. Loki bound. Works well for Loki. And then the palette has got some green in there. All I need now is a little bit of kind of gold for the very insides. Let me know in the comments, do you have any of this new Twilight stuff? Just a massive shout out as well for the boxing. Even the, the look... Of the, the boxing the packages i love how they've done it and i really do hope i can't remember where i read it that they were going to do more for example like a new moon collection could you imagine that that would be like a lot of red and a lot of gold voltori would have to be involved that rhymed i like it i'm a poet and didn't know it shush hannah but let me know in the comments what's your favorite from today and if you have any tips on how to do the little wings because I like them, I'm just not very good at them. I might just need to practice more. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!